Hey guys, welcome back to Slice of Gaming. I'm Leonly Python 4. This is Mario Kart Double Dash for the Nintendo GameCube, and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. So in the last part, I actually forgot to show off what we earned from getting the gold trophy in the flower cup at 50cc. We get another cart, which is the Bloom Coach, which is basically Daisy's car. So let's start another race in the 50cc, and let's choose some lightweight, shall we? Let's go with the Koopa Troopas as I like to call them, aka Koopa and Paratroopa. You can also pick a different car, so if you want to, you can make them ride into the baby carriage, which belongs to baby Mario and baby Luigi, or that's the only choices that we have at the moment, but we'll get to more choices later on as we unlock more carts. So our last cup is the Star Cup. And Sherbert Land. I'm sure this is a favorite from the Mario Kart 64 days. Always a snow world. Sherbert ice cream is really good. So as I mentioned, these two are lightweights. With lightweights, they can accelerate quite quickly, and when you go onto grass and out of the track, you won't lose a lot of speed. You'll actually... You won't lose much speed at all. And they're much better at handling, and you can turn a little bit better with them. The disadvantage behind them is that they get pushed around really easily. So if I ran into Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong here, I could get pushed over and way off, and trust me, this happens to where they can push you off the course. Let's see if I can get these two special items. Not yet. These two have a very handy special item depending on which one you get. That's right, they have two different forms of which special item they can get, but we'll get to that when I get it. And I don't really like this course too terribly much. Here's the special. So both the Koopa Troopa and the Paratroopa can get three turtle shells. They can also get three red shells too. So depending on which one you get, it can be rather useful, especially when you're trying to catch up and you get three red shells. You've got the three shells that you can aim with at people, so you can catch up quite quickly. And then you can get one extra one with the other Koopa. That makes them really quite deadly, and they can put a lot of items onto the field. And the Paratroopa has the ability of juggling. Who knew he was so talented? I usually pick him just for that sole reason, just because he can juggle, and the other one can't. And I'm glad that they finally brought back Koopa in this game. We haven't seen him since the first Mario Kart game, when he was cross-eyed and slightly special. If anyone remembers that. Aw, damn, you made me lose my shell. That's alright, we're about to finish this course anyways. If you run into these ice blocks here, you will turn into ice yourself and you will stop for a few minutes. You can't control where you slide either. Star Cup isn't my favorite cup in the game. If I have to pick a favorite, I'd have to say maybe the Mushroom Cup or one of the cups that we will be getting later in the game. So let's go to the next course. Ah, uh, Mushroom City. Call this the nicer version of Toad's Turnpike from the N64 days. There's not as many cards as... Cars, sorry, as Toad's Turnpike. And it's not as annoying where you have to dodge a lot of cars and you don't go flying up into the air when you hit one. You just spin out and you keep going. There's two different roads that you can take. Actually, there's quite a few roads. This is the route I like to take. I like to go to the left first. And then I like to keep going straight so we can swoop up this double item box. You'll have to be careful when that caterpillar bus turns into your lane. You can't... you have to get out of the way. And then, of course, there'll be these bomb cars would make a reappearance in the game. And it'll show off the other routes that you can take when we get back to that part. Let's get Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong off our trail. Your opponents will remain in their appropriate teams until we get to the 150 races. That was probably my shell, knowing me. Okay, so let's take a different route this time. First, we'll leave this present behind. Here you go. Take it. It's real, I swear. It's a present for me. Personal one. So we can keep going straight, and then we turn to the left. 
You can also turn right and then take the other road I took, or you can just keep on going straight. And you can kind of combine those depending on which route you want to go through. You can also get rid of the bomb car, I think, by throwing an item at it. It could pass the route. I could be wrong about that one. Ah, this is just so much more peaceful than Toad's Turnpike. Especially in the extra mode where everything's backwards. And hey look, random star power. You get star power and you can blast through anything and everything. As you can see, we just went through the car. And we can also have immunity against everything as well. So any Koopa shells that want to fire at us, anything at all. And I think that was my item box. I took my own present. Amazing. So now we're going to take a slightly different path, so we'll let you see that we can change whatever way you're going. Whoa, bomb car. And another lightning bolt. I'm surprised there hasn't been as many spiny shells, probably because we're only doing 50 class right now. I'm sure there'll be much more later on plant you right here. I typically like to plant my item boxes right in front of real item boxes so characters can run into them regardless. And let us finish off this race! You know, even though Paratrooper has wings, he chooses to drive. And look at that lead that we had, a 12 second lead! Definitely not catching up to us, that's for sure. Oh, and here's Yoshi's Circuit in shape of Yoshi himself. This one can be really chaotic in the 150 classes. And there's actually a few shortcuts that we can take in this race as well, if I get some mushrooms. So I'm just going to let myself get passed by here so I can guarantee some mushrooms. We can also see some good items. Ah, oh, you guys drive slow. I'm like tapping the accelerator here so I can get some items. Alright, so shortcut number one is if you have a speed booster, you can jump right over and you can catch quite a bit of distance. Excuse me! Oops. And let's see if we can get shortcut number two here. The next shortcut you also have, a, have to have a mushroom for too. I'll show you where it is. It's right here and you have to blast into the tunnel. And just in move, true Mario Kart fashion, if you fall off, Black 2 will save you. And there's the Yoshi helicopter from the Yoshi Island games. And there's his saddle that we're just passing by now. Hey Yoshi helicopter, how's it going? like how they have those small references from different games. And look, we caught up already. Whoa! That was kind of risky of me. Excuse me. Once again, the piranha plants make a reappearance. Now this shortcut here is the best one to take, if, especially if you need to make up some distance. Maybe if we get a mushroom in when we replay this in the 100 or the 150 CC, we can take the other shortcut. Because I don't think I'll be doing it this time around. Just because I want to keep my lead. Whoa! The track in this race is pretty, pretty small, so you just have to be careful of what you're doing. There's quite a few tight turns since Yoshi has such an interesting frame. There's the horn of the shell car. Awesome, we got our special. I haven't gotten my red shell, shell special yet, probably because I've been, I've been in first. You're most likely to get the red shell special, obviously, if you're falling behind. Whoa! We're living dangerously here! And around the Yoshi's nose we go. And also these 50 classes helps you practice, if you will, for time trials. And if you're really, really stuck on a course and you really need help, you can always do a time trial. You'll be racing by yourself just against the clock, and then you can save a ghost that you race against, which is just pretty much you the previous time around. You can beat your time, and you don't unlock anything. You do in Mario Kart Wii if you beat the staff records. I think you earn characters. 
but it's really, really difficult, and I never managed to get around to it. I'm also not a big fan of doing the time trials. I just like to play the Grand Prix. And on to the next course, the last one of the Star Cup. Donkey Kong Mountain. This course is pretty fun. It can be a little bit nuts at the end because there's a really thin bridge. But we'll get to that after. We can leave lots of little presents behind there. And nobody can dodge it. And into the cannon. While you're riding the cannon, you can't get hit by any items and you can't use our items. So anything you have, try to use it after you land. It just makes things much more useful. And you don't have to stay on the track for this one, you can just kind of go off-roading. You won't lose a lot of speed, as you can see. It, d it doesn't even matter what, what class you are, too, except if you go on the grass, you'll lose speed. This part here can be a little bit dangerous. You kind of have to ignore that there's a road and go onto the grass because the road kind of breaks off. And this is the thin bridge I was talking about, so you can leave lots of little golden treats here because it's kind of hard to maneuver around the bridge, so it's a good place to leave fake item boxes, bananas, and I like to leave Donkey Kong's big banana back there. Just because it's a major cock blocker. That volcano is so angry. Let's get rid of this. And also in the distance we can see the cannon shooting as well too, so we can see people as they're flying over top of us. I found that to be pretty cool. And if you hit any of those rocks, we will also be spun out. Luckily, there's no major thing in this game that makes you lose a lot of speed other than, well, falling off and getting hit by a blue shell. So it's more generous, I'd have to say, than the previous games were. Treat one, treat two. Happy birthday. And I'll also discuss a little bit about the feature that you can do in two-player mode. So in two-player mode, you can do the Grand Prix, either as two individual cars. So you can control a car, they can control a car, or you can be in the same car, which I don't like because I'm always the one stuck driving and the other person's always the one doing the items and it just it's just lazy. Of course I have to drive because if they drive, it's absolutely horrible. I have to be the driver. Oh, a star power! Oh, I missed it. If you're wondering where these random star powers keep coming from, there is a character... Whoa! That can shoot an item that releases three other items onto the road at random. So it could be a bomb, it could be a Koopa shell, and it could be a banana, or it could be, luckily, a star power that we can find lying around. And I'll get to that character afterwards, but we are now done with the Star Cup. So we can skip past. And we'll see what we get this time. Ooh, we get the Parawing, which is the paratroopers car. So, in the next part, we will get started on the 100cc. So, when I get back, we will start that. <laughs>